Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls. We are your IndyCar experience. Okay. It's season three, episode 21. It is. Well, Molly, we should probably warm up the tires. Let's do it. It feels weird. I know that we've changed our opening, but I still feel weird about it. Like we should hear it in our headphones. I know, right? That's okay. All right, Ab, let's warm up the tires. So just a little bit of news. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just touch. Just Just coach. Our woman of the week, Robin Gordon. And then, of course, we're going to be previewing the Toronto race, the Honda, the Hindi, Honda (laughs) Indy of Toronto. Yes. Or the Hindi, apparently. The Hindi. I've decided to call it. (laughs) And then, um, shit we didn't make up, All American Girl Racing. Which is actually not us. I just want to dispel that rumor. It is not. Um, we are the fast girls yes we're fast but all right news so okay speaking of toronto sage Karam is going to be driving for carlin yes he is so he's going to be in the 31 yeah the secondary but they're all secondary cars i guess now to each other they are it's yeah since they yeah it's interesting yeah because for a while like the secondary car was the car that wasn't max but now that max is only doing road courses and not ovals i don't know anymore it's interesting it is it's very interesting Mm -hmm. yeah um but the livery looked real cool oh the livery looks fantastic (laughs) but that was sharp though no that livery is sharp so and i'm excited for sage i mean i I don't mind sage it's fun to watch him i think he's grown up but we've talked about yeah and well and he had a i mean he had a good showing at the 500 and you know he's just he's such a nice guy um he is a nice guy. I mean, I love to joke, you know, like, but is he wearing a shirt? But Which, is he wearing a shirt? I mean, my money's on most of the time. No. Yeah. Um, but, but only no. during the race because technically he has to. He has to. He's required to. There is a requirement for shirts. Um, for Sage. <laughs> <laughs> shirts for Sage. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, that was real fun, and I'm happy about it. Oh, uh, that was fun. That was that was a great hashtag. Yes. We should bring that back. Joseph Newgarden should bring that back. Cause didn't, isn't he the one who started yeah, it? Yeah, Joey New started it. Yeah, he should start that Come again. Come on, Joe. Bring it back. It was funny. Hashtag shirts for Sage. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about that. So that's a, yeah, that'll be good for him. And it actually, um, it'll be interesting to see if he drives any more for Carlin in the rest of the season as well. I don't know how they're kind of doing the auxiliary, not yeah. quite going type of deal. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I it, a button. Oh, that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's it'll be interesting to see because of course you know we love Connor Daly, and yes. it was you know great to see him race for Carlin. Um, Just I don't know. I, yeah. I kind of wish we get to see him back. I mean, obviously Charlie's great. Yes, I, love Charlie. I mean, well, and we love Max um, as basically, well. Basically, we're back in the I want everybody to have a. I seat. I want everybody to have a seat. Uh, yeah, basically. But it'll be interesting to see you know if you know if they do Connor more for the ovals if they do Sage more for the road courses where you know like Pato is going to be in or yeah it's interesting or Kimball yeah well I mean it's Kimball he's Iowa and Pocono are his last but they didn't they didn't remove any races from that they didn't remove any of the races that he's already going to do no I don't think so it's just but they also weren't supposed to remove any of Pato's races and then they had some weird sponsorship issues yeah (laughs) although I feel he got the diabetes money so yeah Kimball should be fine. Up. He's good. There's diabetics everywhere. Right. <laughs> well, the diabetics are paying Kimball, but still. Yeah. And then also, Scott Dixon tested the new windscreen in a simulator, and it simulated um, IMS, mm-hmm. and then what was it? Texas. Texas. Gateway. Gateway. And then a couple of road courses, too. Yeah. I think Mido was one. Maybe Road America. Maybe Road America. Because of the elevation change. Yeah. So Dixon seemed very impressed with it. He did. Um... It was interesting that he said that there wasn't a lot of visual disturbance. No, the um, the piece in the middle, he said the visual disturbance was comparable to the, the nubbin. nubbin. <laughs> so, or the AFP, but yeah, the nubbin. So, yeah, I found that interesting. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I guess that, that makes sense. And he the way he kept talking about it is you, you just look past it like you do everything else. So I'm like, well, that's true because they're not staring like three feet in front of them. They're staring like all the way down in front of them. Yeah. So... So yeah, it's very interesting. I will say, can we take a moment 
to talk about people on the internet oh, losing their shit, just losing their shit about this windscreen. And they're like, worst decision ever. I'm never going to watch IndyCar again. First off, first you're off, a fair weather yes, fan. Yes, you are. First off, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's yes, you be are. real clear about Shut that. Shut up. Yes, yeah. you are. Secondly, really? Really? Now, don't get me wrong. Is the F1 Halo ugly? Yes, it is. It's ugly as sin. However, you know what's real ugly? Watching a driver die in death. front of you. Death is ugly. Yeah. Traumatic death. That's mm-hmm. ugly. Okay? So, you know what? Which would you rather have? Oh, this car looks pretty, but half of our drivers die. Or, oh, there's a windscreen. Shut the fuck up. But they all survive. Yay. Like, really? Get over yourself, okay? <laughs> You're the only thing that you can that you can absolutely count on. Death, taxes, and shit will always change. Yes, and people on the internet are always going to come. Oh. I feel like that has to get added to the list now. Well, you know what I always say. Like, the worst thing you can do is give people exactly what they want. Yeah, especially um, the internet people. We want it to be safer. Oh, we hate this. I'm never going to watch again. Yeah. But not like this. Well, but not like this. What well, else do you want? Okay. Okay, Eddie Engineer. What options do you have? Yeah, thank you. Google doctorate here. What What do you think is going to happen? So, anyhow, I don't think any of our listeners are, are Fairweather fans like that. But no. if you are. Get off your high horse. Stop it. Chill chill out. Stop. Although I was interested, and I, it makes sense now that I, I took a moment to think about when they're talking about, like, they have to put in, like, an anti-fog sort of part. Yes. I was like, that's real. Like, that's just not something you think of, but you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, especially when you think about, you know, how cool it was at Pocono last year. Yeah. And, you know, different humidities and things like that. I just want there to be a defrost button. Oh my gosh! Well, they have to put in a cooling system yeah, into the, the cars now. For the drivers. Yeah. So yeah, so that's a part that they're going to have to add in. That's also going to affect the weight of the car and mm-hmm. things like that. So, I will say, um, I know that there are engineers everywhere that have a half chub just thinking about all of the things that are going to be affected oh, by no. this because it's not just a windscreen. No. It's yeah, the defrost, the cooling system for the drivers because they don't have the airflow, and then how that's going to affect the weight and the downforce. Mm-hmm. People at Delara have been up 24/7 just for weeks at this crying. point. Um, and Firestone is looking around thinking, oh, somehow this is going to fuck with our compound. Right, they already went, shit, we're next. Kara we Adams is just buying wine by the barrel. Kara, let me go, let me just pro tip, the box wine is it's not bad for the price. Right, it's five and a half bottles for about 13 bucks. Like, do the breakdown, it's good. And it's not bad, it's not bad. I mean. Are you drinking it because it's good? No. No, you're drinking it because it's wine and you need it, so. I mean, you're being frugal. Yeah. It's, it's efficient. Or the most efficient way, which is my, my preferred way, when you you need to really get drunk, but you don't have a lot of time, 100 proof hot damn. That also really, works. 100 proof anything, but just take a few shots, let's roll. I mean, maybe don't do that before you show up to work, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I, I never drink before work. I am not That's allowed true. to. That's true. I do miss that from being a waitress, though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was nice. At least if it was a shit day as a waitress, I could just walk over to the bar with my styrofoam cup that I was allowed to get free soft drinks in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I could just walk up to the bar <laughs> and be like, uh, whiskey, Coke, thank you. I'll be back for this. Heavy on the whiskey, not on the co- I didn't even have to say heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I knew. They knew that. Yeah. You work at a restaurant, they all know. They know. Yeah. Uh, they all know. And also, like, are they going to have to clean the – I'm going back to this. Look. Welcome to our minds. Are they ever like clean it like with bugs and shit? Like in the so it's going to have tearaways. Have little... Oh, okay. That's I was like, yeah. oh, we're going to have little tearaways. Yeah. So it's going to have tearaways. So it's also going to affect your pit stops because yeah. there's going to be somebody, somebody that, that's their job has to, like, that has to do a tearaway. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, actually, you know what? We should we should talk to Chris Wheeler about this since you know yeah. since Bell helmets well, that's does also a tearaway. going to affect the helmets and the view. Oh, it because is depending and on they're... your tearaway and that oh. tearaway. And if oh, it's polarized, God. this is. Oh my gosh! No, it totally will because the curvature of the no, i have a half chub just thinking about everything oh my gosh yeah so many factors oh, oh i hadn't thought about that because yeah when i've had uh polarized sunglasses and things like you have um, to be careful it, when i look through like a regular like window pane is fine but when we when i would drive the houseboat um and it would have that curved glass by the mm-hmm. steering station it affected my view and my you know the the light the and thing. i would just have like weird prisms and things and it was you know like i was having an acid flashback um but not. <laughs> but not. Um, but yeah, so that absolutely could affect things. Mm-hmm. I bet it's really going to affect, you know, what shade the drivers want as well. I think so. Or will the tearaways on the windshield have the options where you can do like the smoke the or the sienna, you know, and the different different colors and things. 
I'd like mine to be rose colored, please. I mean, yeah. Why not? Anyway. Yellow. Um, oh, I hadn't even thought about how it's going to affect the, uh, the no, helmets. No, as soon as you said tearaways, I went, fuck. Yeah. That's going to affect. Er- oh. A lot of things. This is going to be so much fun for people to. I say fun because I don't have to deal with it, but like in the off season, everybody's going to be dealing with this because it's coming 2020. Oh, yeah. Well, and like Chris Wheeler said, when we spoke to him in May, you know, <clears throat> people, <laughs> you know, he says, you know, they complain about this and they want to blame it on the helmet. He's like, there are 18 factors right. that go into this and I control one. one. Yeah, so exactly. it's not my fault. <laughs> right. Just like think for a minute and write down every single thing that is part of a car and then maybe triple that. And that's how many things can have to be considered. And yeah. Like, so I bet that Chris Wheeler does not have a half chub about this. I bet that he's like, no, I'm so... sure most people except people like you and I who are already like, this is amazing, but we don't have to deal with it. We don't have to deal with it. Yeah. No, if, if I, if I was working directly, I'd be like, okay, this is a good thing for safety, but son of a bitch. I'd just be like, okay, just start the list now. Just start the list now. Which I think is really good that they are starting this process so early. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because they announced it's, it way back in May, so it had been even prior to that. Yeah, when that they they've been working. The prototypes. Yeah, and so I mean, I think that giving it this much time allows everybody to try and get their ducks in a row and do their oh, best. And there's going to be testing at the IMS. I know it. Oh, you know there is. Oh, I can't wait for that. Mm, oh, I hope it's a day I don't work. Well, I mean. I'll it, just trade. It is a day that we don't work. That's me real clear. <laughs> I mean, it's a day I'm not going to work. I just hope it's a day I'm not scheduled to yeah, work. Yeah, I mean. Let me say it like that. Let's be clear. We will be there. Uh, yeah. Just going like this. Ooh. Ooh we better make sure we can go to the media that, this time. <laughs> Real media people uh, show up. Mm. Eh, yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I enjoy hanging out with the real people on I, I in turn two. Um, all right. Last bit of news. Nobody's quite sure what the fuck is happening between Alonzo and McLaren. Well, they broke up, but it was amicable. But I thought they were they, back together They had again. a mutual decision. Um, he is still a brand ambassador. Okay. However, he will not be doing any more F1 testing for them. Mm-hmm. And McLaren will not – he will not be attempting the 500 with McLaren. I'm sure that he will attempt to do the 500. It's not been announced, but, you know, Alonzo – is more dramatic than I am, so he's yeah. gonna draw he's, it it's a, out. It's a whole thing. He's There's... like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's get all the the engagement and analytics from this announcement, the and then first. let's tease it for two months, and then at, I'll at come least out. two months. At least, and then there'll be like fourteen mini videos leading up to the big video, which again, I respect the hustle of that man as well. So, but he is the most extra person in the world. I mean, the man knows how to work a crowd. He does. Okay. He does. And. And what's hilarious is that he, he he pulls it out for all his attention, but then when you see him in person, he's just so aloof. Yeah. Like he does like, not eh. care at all. I'm like you care. You care, but you're pretending that you don't care. Pretending that you don't. Because it makes you seem cooler. It makes us want to know more. I mean, I get it. It's a good plan. Right. Like it's perfect. It is. It's, it's so good. but yeah, we had um Andrew on Twitter asked, you know, if we thought who we thought that Alonzo might might run with, and I said, I think that he's pretty much gonna have his pick of the litter. Yeah. Um, you know, the only Interesting thing would be, you know, if he's still kind of married to Honda, that might limit some of the teams that he could go to. But if he's not, I mean, if he's well, and he for his his whack was Toyota. Yep. So I feel like he doesn't have as strong as a tie to Honda as some of our other Honda drivers in the series do. Yeah. So I feel like he could kind of go anywhere. Yeah. Um. Ooh. God. Well, no. If he, he had, he had. No, Carlin was Chevy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. Oh, this... shoot, that's right. Yeah, oh, I forgot Carlin was Chevy. It's been a long um, weekend. It has been a long weekend. We had a long day at the pool yesterday. A lot of sun. Um, I uh, I should have started with a bit of the, the hair of the dog this morning. I just want to say that. Uh, no, there was a couple of times when I was like, you need to have something. And then I was like, no, I'm going to run later. And then when I made the call, I thought, ah, I could open up a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, there's a few lamaritas at home that are that are waiting on me. Um, but yeah, that's right. He did run Chevy this year, so I mean, he really could go anywhere. That's true. I would, I would really enjoy seeing him as the third driver for Ed Carpenter. Ooh, that's actually great because you know they run off quick there. Like that's who he needs mm-hmm. to go with. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, you're not going to get on Penske. Alio is definitely in for next 500. Yeah. Pen- I mean, R- RP's already announced that. Yeah, like it's there. Um, Chip Ganassi has not done a third car. The last two years. Yeah. I don't see them adding one. And also, here's the other thing. Chip Ganassi Racing is not about 
all anybody of, else. Well, I mean, they're about Scott Dixon and they're about their team and whatnot, and they're not going to have any of the Alonzo mania. No, nope, they will not. They're not going to be having any no. part. Of it. They'll be like, no, that's a that's a fucking circus, and we don't want any part of it. Um, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but no. We appreciate your interest, but no. Um, Mike Hall just goes, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh, I love Michael. Uh, but yeah, and then you know I mean, he could possibly run for Dale Coin. Um, yeah, that's true. But I, I mean, sorry, there was a lot of judgment. there was a lot of judgment oh, there. Oh God! I mean, he could run for Andretti again, but I honestly really like to see Connor with Andretti. Yeah, again. I feel like because he's already done. Uh, part of me thinks he won't go back to somebody he's already done because. He didn't win. Yes. I mean, let's call it out. I mean, and that's the way I would play it if I was a one-off. Well, we tried this. It didn't work. I'm going to move on to somebody else. I think Ed Carpenter and the fact that it's, you know, that ECR is not one of your huge teams. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that would be great. Although I would, I would hate so much for him. I would hate it for Ed Carpenter if Alonzo ran with them and then he won and Ed didn't. There would be a moment where. (laughs) You might actually see Ed Carpenter like throw his helmet. Yeah. Be like, son Son of a bitch! bitch! Chuck. (laughs) Oop, sorry, cat. (laughs) But Uh, then, like, everybody else in the stands would be like, Alonzo won! And then there'd also be that moment we go, God, I hate that for Ed Carpenter. (laughs) Yes. Oh. But I think Ed Carpenter would be a great team for for him to go on. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. I mean, they got May on lock. They do. I mean, they, they roll out quick. They do. Every year. Uh, all right. So, but yeah, very interesting. Yeah, we will see what happens. I'm sure mm-hmm. it'll be another six months before we yeah, have any more information, but <laughs> hopefully we don't have to talk about it for a while, but right. who knows with that man? You never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, well, our woman of the week, Robin Gordon. Um, hopefully the name is familiar to some people because there is a history of racing in this family. There is a little bit. A little bit. Her great grandfather, Huntley. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really laugh. My bar- my brother's middle name is Hunter, so whatever. Yeah. He uh he had racing, including early on at IMS, like before they really had good records, apparently. Yeah. Or somebody wrote somewhere, well, he didn't appear in the records. And I was like, mm, I feel that that means that they didn't keep good records back then. Yeah. Like if they had shit, they had shit. If not, they didn't. So. Yeah. Um, Her father, Bob, mm-hmm. uh, raced in off-road racing. His nickname was Baja Bob. For the Baja 1000. Oh. Yes. Um, this was also pretty fucking cool. Her mom, Marlene, she also raced in off-road races, including when she was seven months pregnant with Robin's sister. No shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I, I mean... mean yeah, it was like she didn't do the full Baja, but she did like an install or one of like the pre-smaller lead-up races, seven months pregnant. <laughs> Good for her. I mean. That's awesome. You can still drive, though. Right? She's like, I can drive. I'm cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, her accomplishments, she's the only female to win the Baja 1000 in 1990. Yeah. So um, she stuck with a lot of off-road racing, including the 1990 La Paz, which she won where her father and brother Robbie Gordon uh, were her fellow drivers. That's awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't just off-roading and another need for speed. She races in the Long, Be- Long Beach to Catalina ski race in July and she actually held the record for the veteran women's class. I think that's the right term. The women's veteran class. Whatever, not I the think veteran women. Veteran yeah. women, because it's not the rookie. Yeah, it's not like the rookie, but it's the like. All right, yeah, I've been the doing experienced. This shit. Yeah, the yeah. experienced. It's just Plus. veterans is always like, where does it fall in the sentence? Yeah. I think it depends on whether or not you served, and there's where it moves. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, so I uh, found Robin Gordon. Don't worry, she will come back later in the shit we didn't make up. Excellent. Yes. Very cool. All right. So racer Anna Skier, that's that's fantastic about her mom. Seven I months know, pregnant. Seven months pregnant. I almost was like, well, I'm gonna see what else she did, and I was like, only one at a time. Like, <laughs> but don't. seriously, that that's badass right there. That's badass. That is badass. Like that's the true definition. Like I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm still driving though. I'm still race. Right. My my arms aren't broken. <laughs> I'm growing work. a human. I can still drive though. It's yeah. Fine. Like it's fine. The kid has no part in their driving right now. <laughs> This is not performance enhancing, believe me. <laughs> no, God, no. It's the opposite. Oh. Oh. 
Well, coming up next week. Oh, yeah. On Sunday, we've got the Toronto race. The Honda Indy Toronto. The Honda Indy Toronto. This is one of the street courses that I really enjoy on TV, actually. Yeah, it's it's a really good TV street course. It is. Well, and I feel like every time we watch it on TV, we have a lot of fun. I mean, we watched it in Hawaii a couple of years ago. Yep. We just have had a lot of fun every time we watch it. Last year, we might have been at Doug's. I think we might have been at Doug's. Yeah, because we recorded it back outside at your house. Yeah. No. Doug's or McGilvery's, one of the two. I can't remember. It runs together. We drink a lot at both places. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one or the other. Oh, uh, so but it is a temporary street circuit. It is one point seven eight six miles long. Mm -hmm. There are eleven turns, four left and seven right. I need you to know that I panicked and added those up real quick. Like, oh shit, does that make eleven? I literally was like, nah, nah. Oh no, I added it up before I read it. I was, I was doing as I was talking. I was like, it's fine, it's fine. You didn't mistype. You didn't mistype, <laughs> So yes, the Honda Indy Toronto or the Hindi or Toronto, or I think it's hashtag NDTO. NDTO. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Look like, at you with the I got hashtag. that one. I know. I got the hashtag. I got the hashtags. I got it. The drivers will do 85 laps for a total of 151.81 miles because okay. it's that 0.81 that's most important. Yes, it is. It's really that 0 0.01 that's the most important. Yes, it is. Uh, the first race was in 1986. It was cart and champ car through 2007. Mm -hmm. IRL started going in 2009. Yeah, yeah. The fastest lap was in 1999 by Gilles de Ferran in qualifying, where he laid down a 110.565 miles per hour lap. Wow. And for those of you who didn't take French um, or are just a good old Hoosier, that's Gil de Ferran. Yeah, that's Gil de Ferran. See, look, I already <laughs> want to say Ferran. I know. I'm like, for, for those who don't know what name she just said, Gil de Ferran. It's Gil de Ferran. <laughs> Ferran. Ran um, like a, like, ran. No, it's Ferran. My yeah. bad. It's Fair Ran. Yes. Fair Ran. Gilda Fair Ran. Yep. But yeah, in 99, so lap record, the most wins as a team uh, is Newman Haas with seven. Mm -hmm. Most wins as a driver, Michael Andretti, also with seven. Hmm. I wonder how that record came to be for Newman Haas. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Um, well, and no, he drove for Newman Hoff. He did. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I was like, I don't know why I decided to make a big deal out no, of it. <laughs> no, he yeah, understood did. Um, but yeah, well, and this is a race that Marco tends to do better he at. He does. Yeah. Um, so I'm always, I'm always interested to see how he does at this race. Hench always tends to do well here. And I don't know if it's just cause it's his own country or, yeah. I mean, our joke is that, you know, he knows the streets because he grew up in Canada. So he's driven on them in regular cars. He's and, like, Oh, I just parked here the other day. Right? Home field advantage. Right. <laughs> I think that's a thing. So, but yeah. Yeah. Toronto's one of those, you can't really predict who's going to win. No, that's why it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. It's like, eh, it could be anybody's yeah, race. It could it's, be anybody. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how quals go, because mm -hmm. I feel like that. That actually, I think, really does help in this race. Really affects well, the outcome, be. for the most part, unless you're Rossi or Dixon, and then it doesn't matter. Then it does not matter. You can start at the back of the back and just keep going. And just, yep. Doing Dixon things, doing Rossi things. Mm -hmm. let, have, let Rossi handle Rossi, doing Dixon things. Yep. That's it. That's that's that should be shirts. You're welcome, Andretti Autosport and Chip Ganassi Racing. Yep. I would like a little bit of a percentage though. Right. Just but yes, I would wear shirts that said just doing Dixon things. Right. Or let Rossi handle Rossi. Yeah. All the time. Oh, and they each should have a like a picture of them. Like the one for Rossi needs to be a look on his face of just annoyance just, and ugh. and borderline disgust, and just say let Rossi handle Rossi. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Like that needs to be the picture on that. And then doing Dixon things, I want a picture of Dixon with like a half smirk on his face. Yes. Like <laughs> doing Dixon things. Doing Dixon things. It's fine. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do for the Rolex since they don't release the driver list in enough time for us to make the shirts we want. That's true. Ooh, we get the boys in on that. Oh, yeah. Anybody yeah. who's coming to be in for that. Yeah, they'd be in for Just that. Tell us what driver you want to support. We will make a shirt. We'll make a shirt. I got a guy. Like, we, we we got guys and shit. Right? I got a guy. My brother-in-law. I'm <laughs> all about using businesses that are owned by my friends and family. Support local businesses. Support local businesses. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I'm supporting my niece and nephew. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm, I'm helping. Yeah. You're helping the babies. I'm helping the babies. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, so that's right. Every Fast Cars, Fast Girl shirt you buy. Supports. Supports my newest niece and nephew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is how we're going to get the rest of them moved in yes. Iowa and Mid-O. Yeah, yep. There you happening. go. There you go. I'm so. going to need a cute picture of both, though. Oh, done. Yeah. I mean, I know you have them. But done. I'd be like, do you want to support the children? I mean, you know John made a little shirt for Kenzie. 
he yeah. he couldn't fit the screen on a onesie, so it's on just like a like a youth medium or something. But once she gets a little bit bigger, she's already got an FCFG shirt. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> I'm like, I love you, Job. Yes, Job. It's fantastic. Uh, so in the past races in, in Toronto, past, back, to, Toronto. back to the subject at hand, <laughs> uh, burying the lead here hard. Oh, oh. Uh, so always. 20, <laughs> always 2016, um, Scott Dixon got the pole. Uh, Will Power won. <laughs> Speaking of Scott Dixon. Speaking of Scott Dixon. Elio Castroneves came in second. And Hench came in third. Yeah. Uh, 2017, Simon Pangina. Simon got the pole. Yep. And then they called this like the, the young podium because it was Joseph Newgarden, Alexander Rossi, and James Hinchcliffe. Yes. And then last year. The pole was Joseph Newgarden. Mm-hmm. Um, Scott Dixon won. Pagano was second. Yep. Robert Wickens was third. Very much so. So, yeah, that was a good race last year, too. It was it was really a good race. There were a lot of, like, almost yellows, but not yellows. And then they yes. had that, that wild restart where, like, yes. four, I see, I think it was RHR and Ray Hall, and then Chilton, Will, and maybe a fifth car got into it. And, like, four other cars also had damage. From yes. It. Like, it was wild. It was wild. I mean, you you don't typically expect that kind of action on a street course. No. So everybody gets a little squirrely. I mean, I think it's also because we've had some time off. I think that's part of it. had a couple weeks off. Um, I mean, Dixon goes and runs other races because that's what he does, which that's also, nice. happy belated birthday, happy belated 10th birthday to Poppy Dixon. That's true. I... So she turned 10 on Saturday. Apparently, according to the Instagram, she had her first Coca-Cola and quite possibly her last for a while. Oh, yeah. You know what? I understand. Sometimes that cold caffeine is a lot to handle. It is. It can be. Uh, oh, but speak, yes. Speak from the experience. <laughs> well, yeah, you hate cold caffeine. I do. I do for many reasons. Yeah. Also, the hot caffeine is a slow burn, and that's what I need. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. But yes, so happy belated birthday to Poppy Dixon. Yes. You're adorable. We love you. We love you. You're perfect. Oh, my goodness. You're perfect. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, everybody's had a couple weeks off. Kind of they caught back up on sleep. They were yes. refreshed. Also, I think, like, the front stretch is quite wide. It is very like, wide. The rest... that's, that's what makes it a great street course is yeah, that it's, it's a you know... wide front stretch, and then it goes super fucking narrow. Yes. And that really is why the restarts and everything else just goes nutty. They go nuts because you don't have that kind of width at Long Beach. <laughs> you don't have the ability to do that. I mean, it's a, it's a narrow course all the way through. Yeah, it is. Um, St. Pete has some areas that are a little wider, um, like the front stretch, obviously, is yeah, fantastic that's, that's, because yeah, the, it's the runway. The runway. Um, but, but, but that's yeah. why I think that's also a really good one to watch. On yeah, it is a great one Because you go from that wide front stretch to a very narrow car, and, and you're like, sharp, two ooh, sharp turns. Ooh, here we go. Lap one, turn one again. This well, is going to be fun to watch. Spe- it will be fun to watch. Speaking of things to watch for. Yep. Lap one, turn one. Um, and if you want to have a good time, listen to Sato's radio. <laughs> on lap one. No attack. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah. No attack. No, that's not, that's not from Sato. That is direction to that's, Sato. That's to Sato. It's not oh. no attack, no chance. It's no. No. Attack. No attack. Not no, yet. No. No attack. Not yet. Wait no, till lap no two. Yeah. Just get through lap one. Wait till push to pass becomes active. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they've started to tell him. Like, no, is push to pack that push to pack pass active? Then you cannot attack. You cannot attack yet. You cannot attack until push to pass. Oh, so the 2019 race, we've already kind of talked about some of the things you should watch for. Yep. Any restarts, which, again, we've had some really clean races without a lot of yellows. I know. And so this will be an interesting one to see because I feel like the yellows in this race, I mean, not that they don't affect the outcome in every race, but this is one where they especially affect the outcome. Right. Because of that wide why stretch narrow. and then going narrow, you know, in the break zone and all that, you just have people getting wily. So the more yellows and like people say, yellows breed yellows. Thanks, Paul and, Tracy. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, and the other thing is, well, and I wonder who's going to be on the sausages. Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me make it their trifecta because the pit uh, lane there is so cavernous you, and twisty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. But yes, did you say this? The pit lane also, because it's such a weird setup. Yes. Under a yellow, if somebody has made it in or needed to go in, like, now you're screwed because the pit lane is got, like, a weird curve to it. It's almost a weird blind curve. It is. It's longer. It's more narrow and cavernous than others. 
<laughs> they did call it cavernous. They was did. It, I was last like, year or the year before. I was like, are we, what are we talking about right here? It does not sound like we're discussing a race is course. Is this a cave? Are they spelunking now? Right. It's more cavernous. Like, are we at Spring Mill State Park? Is this, is this the Indiana fuck is this? Jones and the Legends of Doom? Like, is this a hidden temple? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Where is the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> In fact, if that's what you win, that's what the trophy <laughs> if you, is. If you win... See, this is why we should have our own race, because our trophy would be hilarious. Oh, my gosh. It you would know, change every year. Oh, I would. Oh, absolutely. First yeah. off, I'd make it from hand. One of the most fun <laughs> things that I enjoyed doing um, as drum major, we had a spirit award at band camp. Yep. Um, and all of you can laugh. I said band camp. Yep. Let's see, just get it out now. Get it out now. Get okay. it out now. Just okay. one time at band camp. We had a spirit award. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I was, yeah. Yeah. I didn't play that instrument. It's fine. No, um, no it's not played at this podcast. Nope. But, uh, but yes, we had a spirit award and I decided that rather than just, you know, getting it, that mm-hmm. we needed a, a physical stick of some sort, like a, a, an actual award or a trophy or whatever. And anyhow, I, I created a spirit stick and it was fantastic. I do not doubt that. Oh yeah. Lots of, um, yeah. Spray paint and glitter and all kinds of fun things. Yeah. So we would have our own. Award. Oh yeah, it would be a, it would be a fabulous. Trophy. I'm actually not quite sure. Is it a, is it like a maple leaf? Do you win syrup? Um, I mean, I think you get handed a bottle of syrup as you cross into Canada. I I think that's part of it. Yes. I've been told that. I don't know because. <laughs> Are you handed it by a Mountie? I can only hope. <laughs> if you're not, you should be. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Canada. Also, happy belated independence to Canada, too, although it's technically not an independence, but it kind of is. Yeah. But anyway, they celebrate the same, like, theirs is July 1st, ours is July 4th. Yeah. Ours so, is a much cooler independence. Than... I mean, well, yeah, they, I mean. Yeah. No, nobody had to die for them to get their independence. I think they just wrote a letter. Yeah, they were just like, you know what, we, we like, got... look, it's not a, it's not you, it's us. Like, Sorry. you're just, long distance relationships don't work. Like, it's been, it's been real, it's been fun, but it hadn't been real fun. Let's just be plainly about each other. Okay. <laughs> just, it's fine. Um, but yes, no, congratulations to Canada for yep. Canada Day. Yep. Happy Canada Day, all that business. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, I don't know what their award is. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what the trophy looks like. It's fine. But yeah, it should be something that's very I Canada. I do think their little, their little confettis are little teeny tiny maple leaves. Oh. I think, I think I'm right about that one. Although I'm not 100%, but I'm like That's 98%. Awesome. I love details like that. Because one of the, the the one of the Texas races, it was teeny tiny little Texases. Yes. We were not there for the teeny tiny Texases. We were not, but, okay. but I love I love the details like that. It's fantastic. I do too. It's fun. Um, so points and implications. So the standings thus far: mm-hmm. New Garden is in first with 402. Rossi is in second with 395. Pagano third with 341. Dixon fourth with 308. Oh boy. Power fifth power. with 294. I mean, there's not yet a runaway. There's not. I mean, only seven points between Newgarden and Rossi. No. Um, Pagano could pop in and win this race and really jump up. And if the, I think what it is is at least between first and third, if the first two have a bad race mm-hmm. or, if, or if just Joseph has a bad race and the following two have good races, like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> We got some shit happening. We do. Which Dixon's got a new engine now, so I expect him to do well. And then is it going to be where Dixon does Dixon things and he comes back and does win a championship from this far back? You never know. You never know with Dixon. You never know. You never know. Um, Maybe Will Power is counted out yet, but maybe not. Again, God only knows. We still have, you know. It's in God's hands. Is it? It is. (laughs) That's going to happen every time now. (laughs) Oh, God, sorry. You took a drink of water. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> yes, it almost came out my nose. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it really could go anyway. Anyway, still too early. Yeah, nobody's really running away. Too early to, and we too early to tell. Six races left, so exciting business. Yay! So, what are we excited about? Well, I think we've also kind of covered. We cover this, but I always put it in here in case we have not covered something. I know. I mean, I'm just excited because. Well, like I always say, Race I'm excited that it is the, the last street course. I enjoy the street course a lot, but I'm excited to see no more after this. That is true. Um, this is true for you. Yes. And I'm excited that of the races we have left, we're going to three in a row. <laughs> Just back to back to back. Yeah. Iowa, Mid-Ohio, actually four. Yeah. Pocono and Gateway. Yeah. So, yep. I'm excited. We're about to be on the road again. Oh, God. I know. Just a couple weeks. 
Yeah. Be living out of the vagina again. Oh, boy. And and because we are bringing people with us. We are. We're vagina-ing and, and, and the scion. And the scion, yep. So. And, and the dog mobile, as we have actually taken to call it as a family. <laughs> that is the dog mobile. It is. Oh. And what are you excited about? Well, for this race, um, I just enjoy watching it on TV. I know that at some point we're going to go to it in person, hopefully, fingers crossed. But it's such a good TV race, too. It is a good TV and race. And it's only it, – the race itself is on NBCS. It's on NBCSN, so I guess it's not as easy – it's still just as hard to see, if, even if it was on NBC Gold. So never mind. Yeah. Never mind. So if you have Gold, you can watch it. If you have if you have cable and have NBC Sports Network, you, you can, can watch, watch it. it. Or you just if you have a family plan. Logins. Yep. We watch it via one of our silent sponsors. It's fine. We have a couple of silent sponsors. Yes, for legal reasons, they must remain silent. Anonymous. Yes. <laughs> Anonymous sponsors. I like that. Yes. All right. Silent, silent partners, if you will. Oh, I won't. <laughs> uh, so yeah i'm excited and it just you know it's been a couple of weeks we've all thought, enjoyed you know we've had a little bit of downtime off. but it's time to get back in i need a weekend where i watch cars yeah although i will say um, we did not make it out this year sadly but they just had battled the brickyard yeah, at the ims of course <clears throat> our favorite kiddos um, i should say that's because our team wasn't racing yes alex and jackson were not there um i meant to give their dad some shit on the text message thread and be like uh excuse you <laughs> no he um I think he, he and i must have had a private conversation about them not going oh i see how it is well i mean do you text him i've responded back yes <laughs> <laughs> you know i love i love to pop out of the group message into private text from That's, somebody who hates group text messages this but... is the only group text <laughs> no there's there's one other one that i have that i don't hate but like this is the one that i like the best and it's surprising because I do hate group messages. I leave them all of the time. All the time. I mean, I just, boom, done. I don't think we can leave this one, though. I mean, we could try, but I don't think we'd be successful. No, I'll... I think we tried early on. Like, in May, I think at one point we both are like, this has to stop. Yeah, I just put them on Do Not Disturb for a little bit. But, you know, usually during a race weekend, they're on Do Not Disturb because I, I can't. We, well, we can't handle anything. But, you know, the rest of the time it's on there. So, But, yeah, no, um. Yeah, I've I've got a private I've got a private text thread with pretty much everybody in the pain tour. Yeah, that's actually on it. Not not because it's the pain tour, but just so many text message threads. There's honestly my living hell. Yeah. It's too many for me. <laughs> I know. Just just the pain tour alone. Too many. I know. That's why I had to tell you about Sarah today because I, I sent it in the group and I'm like, I know Molly didn't see that. Although I will say that um I did not. T Swin was talking a lot of shit about um IU versus Purdue. And what? Oh yeah, no, if you go back through it, it got – well, I mean, it was after we've been drinking all day, and I got pretty sassy. And... <laughs> well, that's – step one of drinking for us is sass mouth. Yeah, sassafras. I and, mean, uh, we're already sass. Yeah, the senator <laughs> goes, wow, that got ugly fast, and I love it. Uh, I, I believe I told him to suck my dick, you produce bag. <laughs> well, yes, I would expect nothing less from uh, an IU grad, honestly. I mean, yeah, and then he, huh. and then he said, whose band is at the track with – and I oh, said, oh boy, it's lucky I didn't see it. Yeah, in fact, there was a point I said, you know, I was like, um, cause somebody said something about, you know, how all marching bands suck, and I was like, have you met the marching hundred? I'll allow Molly to argue that point. Yeah, cause I just would have sent like fourteen clips of. But I, uh, yeah. But it's probably a good thing then. Yeah, but I did make a comment that yes, they do come, but they bring that big ass drum that's clearly compensating yeah, for something. That's the only reason they're there. Let's also be real clear about yeah. that. Yeah, it's the only reason they're there. Or Fight circus me on act. That one fight me on that one that is it if they yeah. didn't have that drum they wouldn't be there you, i will be at they don't I even want, have a school of music i will be at mid ohio you can fight me about this it will be at others but those are the next two yes. that we will be at all of you listeners who went to purdue and are purdue fans i will say again i went to purdue first so did golf cart driver and aj foyt extraordinaire chick Helliker. yeah like, like i gave it, it the legitimate old college try i'm telling you i've been to both schools iu was better yeah. so unless you have also been to both schools don't at me <laughs> Just don't. 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 Who, who, who? Who's yours? You know it. This has been Big Ten Talk. <laughs> With Fast Cars, Fast Girls. Um. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even like basketball or football season. And it's not. we're already. Already. All already right. talking smack. Let's let's travel back to the land of race racing cars. Yes. Um, for we... those of you who are outside of Indiana, if you're not sure what the schools are, just remember Cream and Crimson, Indiana University is the best. Yeah, you're done. Ta da. Yep. There you go. We will also accept Notre Dame fans. We will. Because, well, deep down, every IU fan is a Notre Dame football fan because 
Well, we have. Have to you be. seen IU football? <laughs> <laughs> we have to be. I mean, I'll say that. Yeah. No, no judgment. Yeah. Yeah. We go to football games to tailgate at IU. That's why we're really good at it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we better make choices. Yep, okay, so... Oh, God, I haven't made my choices. Oh, I like it when you haven't made yours. I know. Um, I'm panicked. I just panicked. It's quick. okay. So I'm going to say... Mm, this is why I didn't want to make my choice, because I have to make a big decision. I'm going to say Pagina for first. Yeah. And I really... Again, I know I keep saying this at races, but... And it's this is a year where I, I just keep saying this, and it's because the IndyCar GP was so fantastic. I want it to rain. I want to have another race in the rain. See, I think that street courses kind of are shitty in the rain, but like a good permanent road course is fantastic in the rain. It is. And street courses are shitty in the rain, but because of all the oils and things that are on the roads. Because I was also thinking because they don't drain properly. They don't drain properly. The oils on the roads, they rise up. It's a whole thing. But I think that adds an extra element of just fuckery. It does. That, you know, I'm, I'm always here for a little bit of anarchy. Um, this, these are what I know. Yeah. Molly just sighs and she's like, and I'm your attorney. I'm your attorney and so you're here for anarchy. What in the hell? Sometimes I regret that decision we made. Sometimes. You know what? I said sometimes, but have I? You're, I, you're still on retainer, so regret it or not. I know. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> nope. Can't. I will not accept that retainer feedback. Oh, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we've used the retainer fee. I mean, yeah. It's fine. It's bad. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah. So, first, I'm going to say Pagano because I think he's been doing really well. And I also just really want him to win. So I know. And me thinking too hard about it didn't earn me any points last time. So, I'm just, you just straight, up, yep, straight off the cuff. See, so. like, the problem is shooting from the hip. Like, in my heart, in my heart of hearts, and I think everybody's the same way. Like, I would love for Hinch to win this mm. race. But in my brain, it goes... No, you can't have him as first. Well, you're just going to piss away money. Not that there's any money or anything involved because I've not gone back and retaliated our points since May. Maybe. I mean, the points are really just for fun because we decided that the game of whoever loses buys the alcohol for the next season is just not feasible. We no. have to, we'd have to get a second and third job. Yeah. Like, I can barely afford my own alcohol. <laughs> I can't perform anybody else's yeah, alcohol. Yeah, no, I mean, I sent a picture of my fridge to, in the pain tour text, and I laughed and said this is the epitome of a single person's fridge. My fridge has in it only mm-hmm. alcohol and leftover pizza. I mean, until I go to the grocery store today, mine looks pretty bad. No, I do have some veggies in there. I, I have one veggies. green pepper. Well, I, and garlic because I mean, I, mean, I always have well, garlic. Okay. First of all, there's always garlic. There's always fridge. garlic, butter, olive oil, and pasta in my house. Okay. Believe that. Because at the end of the day, you can at least do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Also, no, there's, there's always peanut butter at my house because, as my mother has trained us, you never know. You never know. But anyway. I used to travel um, when I went to a lot of concerts and I would camp out at concerts and things like that um, because peanut butter is, is, you know, it's got protein. It's everything. It's filling. And so I would typically travel with a loaf of bread and peanut butter. Yeah. And the joke is that there's always a bottle of vodka and usually something else in my car. And that is true for any car I've ever driven, including both of the vehicles I have right now. Um, and I took my car in. And it was in the, the height of summer concert season. Mm-hmm. And my mechanics had to get in the trunk for something. And when I picked it up, they said, we just want to know what the story is behind the loaf of bread, the big jar of peanut butter, and the half gallon of vodka. You, you and I, I, I was like, um, for emergencies. <laughs> I don't understand the question. And they were like. Okay, got it. Yeah, no. I guess there had been a conversation of is this, and they were like, "Did you put this in here for something specific?" And I'm like, "No, that's all just for emergencies." Yeah. You never know where you're gonna be, yeah. and you need a vodka drink or a sandwich. <laughs> you just, you never know. And and, and the, my mother has raised us that every winter we just all start buying peanut butters when we go to the grocery. So there is probably twelve peanut butter jars somewhere in my pantry. So, all right. Well, I want Hinch to win, but. Uh... But yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? Well, I don't want to pick Rossi because I always pick Rossi. Mm. I'm going to go with Dixon. I think that's not a bad choice. And then for top ten, Patch. I'll go ahead and go next. Or top five, Patch enough. Okay. I jumped around. You on did. Little pad I'm thing. like, you just, you just, you just going, you just doing all of them. Like... Surprise. No. Okay, forget for fuck me. This is Fast Cars, Fast Girls with Molly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so top five. 
I'm going to say, I'm going to say Dixon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have top 10 already? Top 10? I'm going to go Hinch. <laughs> okay. I just want to show you before I write it down. No! <laughs> I wrote down Hinch too. Damn it. Well, it's because you're like, he, see, he does well. He, he does well. This, first of all, he does well, period. So like, In the last three years, the 2018 race was the only time that he hadn't podiumed. And But everything else, like, yeah, it's a podium finish. For the last four years, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 but he usually does very well at this race. I just, yeah, three years, yeah. I really do think he'll, he won't finish. I think he probably will finish top five, but I didn't want to, I kind of want to keep catching over there. I mean, so. yeah. Oh, that was too funny. That is hilarious. Like, All this right. is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, first out. Oh. I'm going to go with a Foyt car. Laced. <laughs> if you're not first. You're laced. You're laced. Um, I don't know that they'll be first out. I feel like first out is going to be a Honda driver because I don't know what the fuck is happening with Honda engines, but That's there true. is a hint there on, on that engine manufacturer. Oh, so you're going to put RHR? <laughs> no, if I pick RHR, he'll win the damn race. <laughs> he does the opposite of whatever I pick. If I pick first, he's out. If I pick first out, he podiums and or wins. And you're just like, I, I, I can't win. I can't win with you, RHR. I can't win with you. Um, hmm. First out. Beach. Ooh. Well, I've made that choice before. I don't know why I just made that noise. Like, I mean, A, he has him having a great season. B, oh. Honda engine. Honda and C? It's the perfect storm. It is. Which, the irony of Honda engines shitting the bed at a Honda sponsored race it, will not, not be not lost on, on either one of no, us. Because that's what, like, two last year at Detroit, like, Hondas, or maybe it was two years ago. No, it was last year. It was, it was well, last Honda year. Because it was Dixon and then RHR. Yeah, like in a row and like great runs by all of them. And I was like, well, awkward. I mean, you know, the Honda people were like, yeah, suck it, Chevy. <laughs> they were like, suck it, RP. Yeah, which is how I assume Chevy will we'll, do. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, same. I feel like yeah. the same thing will yeah. happen. Be like, yes. Take that. Yeah. All right. Well, time for the better dis discussion, the drinking game. Yes. Which... And the alcohol of choice will depend on where we end up watching. It will. Because if we watch it at McGilvery's, they've got cider on tap. So... They've got Blue Moon on tap. They've got other beer. They have wine. They've got, I mean, they've got everything. But it's a I do bar. like a good cider on tap. I do enjoy draft cider, but it's also getting to that point in the summer where it's hot enough that, like, sometimes I just want a good old Coors Light. That's true. And they do have Blue Moon on tap. So they do. So it kind of depends on how hot it is as well. Yep. But if we end up watching it at somebody else's house... Well, then it's anybody's game. Yeah, first of all. Whew. Second of all, I might just pick up like a six-pack or something. Just a beer. Yeah. I kind of feel like this is a good beer race. It is a good beer race. It's I mean, I've still got some Canada. PBR and some of the uh, Flamingo Natties left. I mean, I will get some. I might as well just get the Flamingo Natties. I know. Bring the remain like a, a dirty 30 of Natty. Um, it's not just, like we're not going to drink it. I was going to say, bring the rest to Iowa. Yep. Because that's going to need to happen. Maybe that's yeah. what I'll do. Yeah, I kind of think now that we're doing the FCFG unplug that we're just gonna have to bring like two dirty thirties of the natties. <laughs> yeah, we each have to have our own. Uh, yeah, because I mean the the dirty thirty of PBR and the dirty thirty of natty, we damn near drank all of them. And I didn't have any of the PBR. Well, we used it for flip cup. Oh, okay. So. I feel like though towards the end of flip cup, other things. <laughs> I mean, I at some point we were just rapid fire doing games and there wasn't beer and there wasn't a cold one. And I was like, screw it. I'll just put wine in here. And then in the time that it took from that decision for it to be my turn, I forgot that I'd put wine in my cup <laughs> oh, no. and I kick it back and chug. And I was like, that was, Oh, I did wine. Like as I'm flipping the cup, I was like, the hell did I just drink? What? Oh, which is hilarious. And also, um, earned me, earned a new level of respect for my mother, uh, because she only plays flip cup with Merlot. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a hard drink to do. I mean, with. don't get me wrong, I could slam that wine back, but it was it's a whole different game. I after that I was like, Nope, spin a beer and some ice for me. I'm not playing this game with <laughs> nope, wine. I can't do this. Not doing it. Uh... Uh, so yeah, so it'll depend on where we watch it. Um yeah. so for a drinking game. For the game. So very sim as we some of these we've already talked about. If they talk about how the run up to the princess gate and the straightaway is a great passing zone, that's a drink, my that's friend. That's a drink. That yeah. is a drink. Of course, if you're there in person, as always, the blue, blue flag, flag game. Yeah. Or if you see it on TV, don't feel afraid. If you see yeah, a flag. Yeah, no. If you see a blue flag, drink. Drink. 
yell first. Yes, that's, 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 it's, it's a social. Yeah. So for those of you that, that also went to Big Ten schools, that's a social. <laughs> that's a yeah. social. Blue flag. Cheers. Cheers drink. drink. Yeah. Okay, so blue flag is a social. Yeah. Um, but yes, Princess Gate being yeah. a good passing zone, etc. That's yeah. a drink. Um, gratuitous shots of the Toronto skyline. Oh, and I don't mean just the initial, hey, here we pan the city, as they do at the beginning of every race. We're okay. talking gratuitous. Yeah, like you're like, I get it. Like if the skyline was a sex scene in a movie, you'd be like, okay, that's too much. That's too gratuitous. Much. It's too much. It's okay. not triple X. So, yes. yes. If we start talking or hear any discussions, both, uh, you know what? I'm going to call <sighs> both on TV. If you're listening, IndyCar Radio or whoever you are watching with starts a discussion of the silly season, you're going to have to take a drink. And you can also smack them. Smack them. You can you can smack them. We up. are not talking about the off season. No. Well, the season is still be present, people. Be, not now. You know what you're going to It's like eating a, a big ass snack 30 minutes before dinner, okay? You're going to ruin your you're damn appetite. Ruin your appetite. You're going to ruin the rest of your season by focusing on shit that we don't have to worry about until October. No. Enjoy the racing that's happening now. Don't worry about it now. We can worry about it later. We have stuff to talk about later. So no talking. Yeah, Shh. It's fine. Shh. Stop. And also, every rumor you're here now, bullshit. Please. It's going to change 18 times. You can speculate all you want. You're just wasting your breath. I, I heard that Rossi's going to form his own team. There. How about that for a rumor? I heard that Rossi is actually RP's illegitimate son. <laughs> and that's why he will never drive for Penske. Me, because RP doesn't believe in nepotism. That's Spencer and Ed Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nope. That's Spencer and Ed Carpenter. Somehow <laughs> <laughs> that didn't oh, work out. Spig. Aw. Also, if they mention Canadians, go ahead and take a drink. I mean, but like like a, a celebratory drink for the Canadians. Yes. Well, you can just finish her off. Yeah, you might. You can finish her off. And Actually, they... you, you finish her off if they forget a Canadian that you know. Yes, and they. That's right. We did that last year as well, which was very fun because they kept forgetting um, ZCD was Canadian. And then they kept referring to him as the French Canadian. I was, like, I was um, like, I feel like that's slightly racist, but I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. So mentions of Canadians like Paul Tracy, James Hinchcliffe. Actually, gratuitous mentions of Robert Wickens. That's yes. a finisher drink. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, he did podium last year, and they're definitely going to talk about it. I'm sure he's going to be there. I don't know. Um, I mean. It depends on how he was healing from Oh, the that's last true, because he had the yeah. ankle surgery and such. Um, but but it's, it's been long enough. Like, that's before weeks. Road America. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, I bet he and Carly are there. I mean. It's the hometown. Pop in, see some family. You know, watch Catch a Race. Catch a Race, see some fam, go back home. You know. Yeah. No big the whole, whoop. The whole thing. Um, also, finish your drink. If Hinch is very close to winning, yeah, but does not. I wrote that sentence in a weird voice. You did. I think I started it and stopped it and came I, back to yeah. it because I was like, that's not that's not at all. But that's yeah, English. Basically, if Hinch almost wins, but he does not win. Yes. Again, just finish it. You know what? Pour one out for your homies in your mouth, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So basically, if Hinch podiums, if he podiums but doesn't win, or like if he's having a great race and then like the last five laps. Shit. Shit happens. Shit happens. Somebody crashes him out That's or something. That's also a drink. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish our drink. Well, we, I mean, we're gonna finish regardless, but we'll at least cheers. To, because we're gonna, if he wins, it'll be celebratory. Oh yeah, celebratory finish your drink. Yeah, but maybe buy a round or, or get a round if he wins. Yeah, get, get another round if if Hinch wins. Yeah, Hinch go. is another one that's great to listen to on the radio. Yes. For those of you who use the IndyCar app while you're watching. Yeah, which he's fantastic. Let's see how it goes again this time. Oh, what was it? It was Road America when they came back and they're like, P. Da da. He goes, How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> oh, I enjoy listening to him. So, yeah, I feel like if Hench is doing very well and does not end up finishing well mm -hmm. because of a kerfuffle or something, that you will hear, How the fuck did that happen over his radio? So, yes. you're all welcome. Yes. And don't worry, there's a slight delay on the radio, so you can watch it happen on TV and then switch to his channel. Yeah, that's what's really nice. You can go, Boop, boop, boop. Oh. He's going to get angry. He's going to get angry here in a second. The Canadian, he is angry. <laughs> he is angry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so it's a, it's going to be a good good race, good, good weekend. Race. Yeah. And then we get Iowa after that and then mid-Ohio, and it's going to be good stuff. So if you did not write down these drinking game rules, don't worry. We will post them on our social media. You're not, young friends. Yep. Fear not. We've got you. You can find everything that we do on our website, www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. You can find links to our podcast, where to download it. We're on every app imaginable, every type of podcast listening app thing. available, thing, website, etc. Internet. We're there. We are on the line. 
Uh, yes. We also have an Instagram at Fast Cars, Fast Girls, a Twitter at Fast Cars and 317, Facebook, Facebook.com slash Fast Cars, Fast Girls. And we have our YouTube channel. Yeah, we did you put your video on? I did. Okay. I meant to like double check that we were doing that too. I was like, God, are we putting those videos up there? So I awesome. didn't in May, but um, but yeah, I did put up the Road America one. Cool. So I think I'm the only person that's viewed it, but it's fine. You would think that, but actually we do get some weird views. Okay, cool. When I looked the other day, it sh only showed one view and I was oh, logged well. into a different YouTube account than I typically was. And so I think that it was me. Oh, you have a shadow YouTube account? I have three YouTube accounts. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Only because I keep forgetting login and passwords. Oh, no, no. I, I know all the passwords. It's just there's um some that I, I comment back from and some that I'm just there to watch. <laughs> so... I see. Yes, I do have shadow. I have shadow accounts everywhere. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what I regret is that I, I almost created a shadow Facebook account years ago. And I wish that I would have now because now it would take me too long to build up right, friends to be a thing. legitimate yeah. account. Can't but think. had I done it like eight years ago when I wanted to, it would already be established and I could just. Just let it happen. Kevin. Let it burn. Um, but, but yeah. yeah. So anyhow, make sure you check us out we again. www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. It's all there. It's all there. The Snapchat is dead because it continues to log me out at racetracks. And it, yeah, we're done. Dead. Fine. So sorry. T -O -D. I mean, we'll pop in occasionally, but when we can and when it won't actually log us out. But we'll, you know. Yeah. Who knows? I'm sure there's a special thing we should be doing, but I don't know. Yeah. Snapchat just needs to be easier to switch between accounts. I should not have to enter in my username Thank and my you. password every damn time. Exactly. And to share, I'm sure, well, I think to share things, you have to pay for it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. No. Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. Not with our budget. We, we, we've already run through our marketing budget for the year. So sorry. Sorry. Very high dollar <laughs> budget. <laughs> we've spent a hundred dollars or a hundred percent of zero dollars. <laughs> oh, all right, well, next on to shit, shit we didn't, didn't make up. up. Yes, every time. I appreciate it so much. I know. Um, for those of you who are also in the band, no, we do not count off for that. We're just that damn good. Yeah, that's what's real funny about that. We just go. So the All-American Girl Racing, and spoiler alert, Robin Gordon is back because she was a part of this. It was the all-female, all-American racing team, and Heck they yeah. competed in off-road races, including the Baja 500, and the Baja 1000. One, Not, nope, 1000. Oh, 1000, okay. They are the only all-female team in off-road racing. Yeah. I have track changes on. Well, that's weird. Very cool. Well, not that it's weird. I was, I was like, no, that's no, no, not. I was, I was going back to what I said. Yeah, it's very cool. very cool. Well, and just off-road racing is, is fun. I mean, it's just wild. So there is, and I keep looking at it, and obviously not right now um, for multiple reasons, but there's like an all- like a female, like long distance off-road race, similar to the cannonball run, but like all women do it. And I was like, damn it. We should either do it or like cover it somehow. Oh, we should do it. It's actually right. It's, I think it happens in a dead spot during the season, but Ooh. I think we have to build up PTO a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. We can do that by next summer. That's what I'm thinking. Also, I think. You know, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, make but, sure, my, make sure, make sure my back and ribs are done breaking. You know, just a lot. But yeah. I was like, that would be great, either to cover it or to participate in it. And I basically, or both. like, if you're covering it, you're semi -per participating in it because you're like just driving there too. Yeah, I mean, if we do it, when we do it, I want to get a mount on the dash for one of our phones to just be passively recording <laughs> video and audio yes. the entire time. Just a, a live stream of the whole thing. I mean, we could live stream it. Um, that would actually be hysterical. Yeah, I feel like that would be leading to the greatest moments. Um, <laughs> yeah, live streaming would be fantastic. And then put together, you know, a little video of clips or like a fast forward yes. montage. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, speaking of, now this happened. Okay, so if we do this, I'm glad you brought this up actually because I, I watched this happen at a stoplight. And it was, I was getting off of 465 to oh turn onto God. 10th Street. I'm uh -huh. at that stoplight. Mm -hmm. I'm stopped. We're at a red light. The light turn has like just turned and the car next to me, the driver's side door opens up and she starts to like run to the back of the car. And I was like, what is happening? And then I realized the passenger's coming around. Oh, Chinese fire Chinese drill. Fire drill. Yes. Oh my Which God. is not PC, but it's no, fine. Um, anyhow, and it, and it didn't look like it was for any reason other than they were just fucking around and they were in their forties. And I just looked and I said, why are Molly and I not doing Chinese fire drills when we travel together? Why is this not I a thing? It could be a thing. And so if we do this, we're Chinese fired. Yeah, no, yes, 100%. Which is going to be hysterical. In the middle of fucking nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Just stopping. Whoop. 
Well, and let Driver me tell you this. Switches. Yeah, let me tell you this. Um, guaranteed, I will slip and fall or run into the van at least once. Oh, on I, that. that's happening. Yeah. So we're both of us are clumsy as hell. Clumsy as hell. Yeah. You'll just see me come around the back of the van, then sh- down. <laughs> You'll see one or the other. You'll hear like a thump and fuck, <laughs> or just a whomp, and the and then the camera will shake. shake slightly, and then the person will sheepishly get in the. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah oh. that's happening yeah i mean i I'm, should know the name of this and i feel really bad it's fine i will put we'll get it yeah we'll get it yeah it'll be interesting on which car we want to take because well part of it is i think you also can like get sponsorships because they're like flipping land rovers or something like that because it is off-roading oh yeah so we have to do some digging yes this would be very fun we might also yeah, there's a lot of process, but yeah, yeah, this is happening. Okay. I'm sure we can get whatever license we need to. I don't think you need a license. Okay, for good. That. I was hoping not. <laughs> First of all, no. Okay. Um, but back to this all American girl racing team. Yes. <laughs> uh, the uh, the members of the team included Heather Bonani. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Um off-road enthusiast also has a lot of good pedigrees i just don't want to go into them because i was like guess who we're covering <laughs> later on yep so um, we, we will discuss heather more later but yeah. yep, she was on there and then robin and becky gordon that's right becky gordon you yep. know our hr's wife becky yep they also raced so as part of this all-american girl racing they raced in the baja 1000 and they were the first all-female team to compete in that race very cool. For those of you who might be wondering what the Baja 1000 is, if you recall the video from last year's off season where Rossi was driving a Land Rover-ish type car, crested the hill, and almost ran into a pedestrian car, that's it. Yep. That's the race. Yep. That's how it's set up, too. It's just like, is this really a road? Okay. We're calling it a road. It could be. Bitch, it might be. Bitch, it might be. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that from last year. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all went, ah! Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, Becky Gordon, man, she's a cool. She's, she's a cool that, woman. It's a she's that family has a lot of racing in it. They do. Yeah. So. They All right. do. I think it's time for a white flag. I think so. What you got? Well, this is the last quiet weekend for a while. That it is. Toronto, then Ohio, Iowa, mid Ohio. I think we actually get one weekend off. We do. And then it's Pocono Gateway. Yep. Actually, then we get two weekends off. That's Cause, right, because Pocono is a little bit later. It's mid, uh, mid-August, mid yeah. It is mid-August. So we get two weekends off, which is cool. Yeah, which is nice. Give us a minute yep. to breathe before we go, oh, fudge, because I think, uh, personally, it will go Pocono, Gateway, Atlanta for a conference, back, North Carolina for training, two weeks back, North Carolina for training, and then my brother's wedding out in Seattle, so that's going to be... Your birthday before I got to Seattle, naturally. Oh, that's natural. included. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and we... the Brickyard is in there somewhere. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's right. The Brickyard's in September. Yep. So. Yeah, but I'm excited because racing is back, and I missed seeing cars over the weekend. Yes. It'll be, yeah, it'll be very exciting. Well, and actually, the Brickyard actually will be fun because the 4th of July will be on a Friday, and then you'll have Brickyard Week on the 5th and 6th. Awesome. So that'll be great next summer. It'll be, oh, you know they're going to have a killer concert and a killer fireworks. Oh, you already know. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for Toronto, mm-hmm. and then I'm really excited for uh, for Iowa because it's our first time going out there. I know it's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. We gotta rearrange the van. Yeah, that's happening this upcoming weekend. It is. We'll have to. We're we'll gonna have to put that on on like some social media of us. Just oh like, yeah, that's gonna unloading be unloading and reloading stuff. Yeah, it'll be hilarious. Mm-hmm. I mean, there there are things in that van that have just been shuffled since the Rolex. I was gonna say there is Daytona stuff in there. That's probably like. My winter coat yeah, winter is still coat. in the van. I've seen that multiple yeah. times. I, I was ready to Which, say. I'll, I'll tell you what. Every time I think about taking that thing out, we go somewhere where it's chilly. And I'm like, nope. Because it also is water resistant. Yeah. And so I um, yeah, I have used it many times to put over my clothes just so I can sit down on a wet chair because I'm tired of standing. No. So. I know. Yeah. But I no, know. there was there was a day where I was like, where the hell is my winter coat? And then I got in the van. I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> Found it. Found it. So I'm excited. I am too. All right. Gotta say some good races coming up at the end of the season. So some crowd pleasers. There you go. Some real crowd pleasers. All right. And on that note, let's wave the checkered flag. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Bye.